Mr. Ambassador, the president said that it appears that the security crackdown is showing signs of progress, but the rate of U.S. troops killed, that number is up. According to a new USA Today poll, 100 percent of people in Baghdad feel insecure. So what specifically are the signs of progress? Well, uh, at least I can point out to three quickly. One is that the sectarian violence, the killing of the innocent by death squads uh, has decreased. Uh, I've seen uh, numbers as high as uh, perhaps a quarter, but 25 percent uh, down. And uh, uh, two, uh, that uh, there are some people coming back to their homes. Uh, anecdotal evidence uh, uh, points uh, to that in the hundreds. And uh, three, uh, that uh, the government uh, is being even handed in going after uh, both uh, uh, militias and the insurgents and terrorists. Uh, there has been a significant change in terms of going after militia leaders associated with Jaysh Mahdi. Uh, we have some 700 of them uh, under arrest. So th uh, th there are those changes with regard to security, but a lot remains to be done. Roadside bombings are up, attacks on helicopters have increased, chemical weapons are being used with greater frequency. Would you concede the level of violence has gotten worse? Uh, no, I, I don't think the level of violence, the, the, the statistics that I uh, see has not gotten worse. It is bad. Uh, I think overall uh, we believe there is a, a somewhat decline in the level of violence. Uh, but. Uh, in Baghdad, there is a, a significant improvement, but it will take time. Uh, there are difficult challenges ahead. This is not going to be easy, uh, but uh, the, the record is, a, is a, a net positive so far. Can the Sunni and Shiite populations really come together in your view? Well, uh, if they want peace, if they want prosperity, uh, uh, if they want to uh, lower the level of violence, uh, they have to. They have to make compromises. They have to uh, uh, have a national compact through amending the Constitution. They've made progress by passing the oil law by the cabinet, but more uh, steps are needed. At the same time, uh, I have to emphasize that the problem is uh, not only Iraqi, but also the regional uh, countries also have a responsibility. And we made some progress the other day uh, in the conference here that the neighbors and uh, P5 and the UN participated. Uh, but yes, uh, the, the, that is a big if. Mr. Ambassador, not to sound pessimistic, but what is plan B if this surge does not work? Well, I think uh, 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 plan B is to make sure that plan A works. Uh, and uh, uh, this is what we're focused on right now. Uh, and uh, working with the Iraqis, uh, uh, General Petraeus uh, uh, is working closely with the uh, military folks. I'm working closely with the prime minister on the political track. We're also engaging uh, uh, with the Iraqis, the neighbors. Uh, so um, at the present time, our focus is uh, to make progress. Uh, we understand the challenges and the difficulties, uh, uh, but uh, we're working hard with the Iraqis to incentivize them uh, to move forward. But it seems that as if any good military planner would have a plan B if the lessons of this war have been heeded in particular. So if this surge does not work, what then? Well, that would be uh, uh, something that uh, would have to be uh, discussed uh, at the time when that judgment is made. I'm not prepared to discuss that uh, uh, contingent scenarios at the present time. Do you still believe this war is winnable? And what does winning mean to you? Well, uh, success uh, means an Iraq uh, that uh, can stand on its own feet, where there is an agreement among the communities uh, with regard to political and economic power. There is a national compact. Uh, there is a decrease uh, in levels of violence. Uh, uh, and, uh, and there is increase in rule of law. Uh, and. Uh, uh, there is, uh, there is uh, increased uh, trust and confidence uh, in the Iraqi security forces uh, and their, uh, their need for us to be there uh, declines. Uh, I think that is uh, what we're talking about with regard to success in the foreseeable future. And you think it is achievable? It is possible. As I said before, 
there, there are positive signs, but there are also uh, uh, points of concern. Uh, it ultimately depends uh, on whether the Iraqis can come together. And uh, uh, th there are good signs, but they have to do a lot more than they have done so far. And uh, our challenge remains how to incentivize them to move forward and how to get the neighbors uh, to uh, work for Iraq's success rather to undermine it.